Function of Beauty has been making me appreciate my hair before using it. I woke up with kind of peaking dandruff. That's disgusting. Good morning guys, welcome to another video. I'm going to be trying custom shampoo and conditioner. And I think I got a hair mask as well. I'm going to be trying out custom hair care products and then seeing how my hair responds to it. You've probably heard of Function of Beauty because it's kind of like really mainstream. I don't remember how I came across them, but I thought it sounded really cool. I ordered my own shampoo and conditioner from Function of Beauty. I thought the idea of having hair care products targeted at your own issues or whatever you need for your hair was really cool. I don't have any type of hair care system in place. I don't really do anything for my hair and I should. So I thought I'm going to try out this custom shampoo and conditioner and see if it's worth the hype and I was just really interested in trying it out. So this video is not sponsored or anything so it's completely unbiased so I'll give you my honest opinion and if I think it was worth it or if my hair changed throughout this process. So Function of Beauty is this personalized hair care brand and they have, you know, shampoo, conditioner, hair masks, serums, all of that jazz. All right. It's vegan and cruelty free. So I got myself a shampoo and a conditioner and a hair mask. I thought may as well get a hair mask while I'm at it. Now that I think about it, this is like the first time I've ever spent money on anything related to hair. I literally just use whatever's in the shower at my house. I usually use like an anti-dandruff head and shoulders shampoo. That is my main hair problem, getting bad dandruff. Like I literally don't do anything to my hair. I'm about to start. It also comes with a bunch of stickers that you can like decorate your bottles with, which is kind of like really cute. And it also comes with these pumps. So you can obviously have it in a pump in the shower. So I called mine Function of Imi. And it comes with a little like booklet brochure thing. And then it also has a list of your hair goals. So that's based on what you picked when you took the hair quiz. So basically when you order your products on Function of Beauty, you take a hair quiz. This is where you get to build your formula to basically make this like custom. So it's specific to your hair. So I picked straight for my hair type and I picked fine for my hair structure. I have really like just fine, thin, straight hair. Scout moisture, I picked dry and I don't know if this is right because I thought because I have, because I get dandruff, that means I have a dry scalp, but apparently an oily scalp can cause dandruff. So it might be the literal opposite of what I got. For my five hair goals, I selected nourish roots and then down the bottom, it kind of gives you an idea of what each of those things do and then it has like the ingredients that it has in it i also selected strengthen volumize because i have thin hair and i want to have thick nice hair um shine and soothe scalp some of these things like fix split ends like you can't fix split ends like once it's split it's not going to just like stick itself back together like a split end you just have to cut off so then after you select your hair goals you get to choose a fragrance and i chose rose i love peach and i felt like peach would be such a nice scent but i picked rose because you can't go wrong with rose and then for my formula on my name i just did Immy, and i picked pink for both colors this was like a hard one for me because I thought there were so many pretty colors. Look at that bright yellow. It looks so nice. But I wanted them both to be the same because they're kind of a different... I don't know how to describe it, but the color's more like shiny and transparent. Whereas the conditioner is like a solid, opaque, bright color. The last step is just picking your size and frequency. Um, frequency just means if you want to order it on repeat. I don't even know what OZ is because this is American. But yeah, I definitely picked the bigger size. And then I got a hair mask which was customized with the same selection. So that's basically how you customize and order your own custom shampoo and conditioner. So I feel like it's going to be beautiful because Rose scent. There's Oh. I mean, it's nice, but it's not as like wow as I thought it would be. I thought it would be like uh, nice, but it was kind of just like yeah, that's, that's like a nice smelling thing. It's not like a it's not like a Peter Alexander candle. They look pretty, but I'm interested to see if it changes my hair. So I basically just have thin straight hair. I don't really do anything to it, you know. I don't straighten it, I don't curl it, I don't treat it or dye it. I literally do like nothing to it, and I wash my hair like two to three times a week. Basically, just when it starts to get gross, I'll wash it. And it does start to get gross a lot because when I train, 
Um, I think I am prone to oily hair as well sometimes. I don't know. But my main problem is dandruff. So I get flakes of dandruff and a dry scalp if I don't use like anti-dandruff shampoo sometimes. So I'm hoping that this makes my scalp beautiful. And then I'm also just hoping it makes it like, you know, look more luscious and shiny. Other than getting a little bit of dandruff every now and then, like it flares up every now and then, like I do like that I have straight hair. Um, it does grow long and it grows pretty fast. And it's quite healthy because I don't like damage it or anything like that with dyeing it or straightening it. I also try to wash my hair with cold water. It sucks and I hate it, but <laughs> especially in winter, ugh, cold showers are the worst. But I've heard that washing your hair with cold water is better for your hair and there's like less heat damage to it. And honestly, the days I wash my hair with cold water, I feel like it looks nicer the next day. There was a while where I was doing pool sessions often, so getting like chlorine. Obviously, I'm a runner, not a swimmer, but I can imagine people who swim would be damaging their hair a lot with having all those chlorine and chemicals constantly bathing their hair. The only other thing about my hair that I wish I could change is its thickness. I have the thinnest hair and I would love it to be thick but you can't really change that. That's just like a genetic thing. Like everything about our hair we can't change. If you're born with curly hair or thin or thick hair you can't really change. So I do like I'm grateful for my hair. I like it how it is. So I'll continue washing my hair like two to three times a week but it's going to be with these guys and I'm going to make an effort to do a hair mask each week, which is an effort. But I'm excited to use it and see the results. This is just a little close-up of my hair right now. Okay, so this is my hair. <laughs> I'm about to try the shampoo and conditioner for the first time. Keen. My hair is actually a mess right now. Okay, so I obviously wouldn't get out of the shower to um, put shampoo and conditioner in my hair. Alright, shampoo is... This is so awkward. Who does this? Okay, I'm just going to go back in the shower because this is just not working out for me. Okay, I'm going to try and make this work in the shower without flashing. Wish me luck. Oh my gosh, that's so much better. I'm freezing. Alright. It smells nice, but it's not as like amazing as I thought it would be. I am more interested in how it smells when my hair dries. I need more conditioner than that. Alright, so that's what the hair mask looks like. So it says just to like apply after you shampoo and condition your hair while it's wet to like the lower two thirds. I think um, I would definitely go peach if I was to get it again. Because I thought the rose would just be like something else, but it wasn't. It's one o'clock exactly, so at like 1.05. I will wash this all out. See you when my hair's dry. So it's been like two hours, so my hair's not fully dry yet. It's still a little damp, but I'm gonna go like, see if mum notices anything. It smells nice, but like nothing special, just like clean hair. It does feel good though. I just wanna give you a hug. Oh, you're wet. Why is your hair wet? <laughs> you don't like, keep hugging me. Breathe in through your nose. I need to blow my nose. Oh, so do you have any sense of smell right now? I can smell. Smell of my hair? Mm hmm. It's a blend of flowers and sweat. Sweat? <laughs> I washed it. <laughs> Wait, flowers? What flower? No, I just said that. Oh. Can you smell a specific scent? No. Oh. You know how I ordered that shampoo ages oh, ago? Oh, in that bottle in the color. Yeah, but yeah, the yeah. pink one. I'll show you what it looks like. It looks really nice. And I picked rose. Oh, it doesn't smell like rose at all. No, I picked rose, but I should have picked peach because it, it doesn't smell that great. Yeah, but and peach what? is one of the options. Yeah, but it probably didn't smell like peach either. Yeah, but today is the morning after trying Function of Beauty. Function of Beauty, I was watching some like British girls doing reviews on it and they had strange accents. So, not strange, but different. My accent's probably really strange to a lot of people, so. Anyway, this morning I woke up with kind of peaking dandruff, like I've picked out some bad flakes, but it was pretty flaky. Other than that, it's been, feels quite soft and nice today. And I feel like there's like a really faint smell of rose, but that might just be because I'm, I'm trying to find it. But anyway, it's not even been a whole day yet since I used Function of Beauty and I've done it once. So I can't really make any judgments yet. I'm going to have to wait a few weeks. Or months and then check in with you guys then good morning so it's been about two weeks and so far I kind of feel like my hair's thicker 
but it feels a lot more dry and that might be why it's like all thick also having really really bad dandruff you can't even see it in this video but jokes yes you can that's horrible the fact that i'm like just openly posting this that's disgusting it feels like it's made my dandruff worse i don't know if that's the shampoo or the brand or if it's me picking the wrong hair profile as I said, I picked a dry scalp because I have dandruff. And then I kind of found out that that could be caused by an oily scalp, but I don't know. Other than that, I don't know. It feels a bit thicker. It doesn't feel amazing. It's only been like just over a week, so I think I'm just going to stick at it for a few more weeks. I think tonight will be the last night that I cop abusing my hair with function of beauty. So I was fully prepared to call it quits and using Function of Beauty early because I didn't want to get a perm. Um, my hair was getting really frizzy and just like ratchet and my dandruff. Function of Beauty has been making me appreciate my hair before using it um, and my dandruff wasn't even bad. Like, okay, so this is my hair. <laughs> like what dandruff compared to since I started using it. But yesterday I just fully scented, used quite a solid amount and did a hair mask because I was like, nah, last day I'm doing it. I'm going to today talk about my disappointing final opinions and whatnot. But, um, I don't know. I'm feeling like, I don't know. I'm kind of, yeah, like my hair's feeling kind of quite nice today. So I think it probably was the hair mask because I've not done that regularly and I did that yesterday and my hair's like nice for the first time since I've started using nice-ish. Still really skeptical, but I think I might just use it for a little bit longer and see. At the moment, I'm kind of liking the hair mask and I'm really not liking the shampoo and conditioner. Like my hair has gotten thicker. When I grab my ponytail, it feels like my hand feels like thicker than like before. It was like this. But my actual hair is just, you know, frizzier and drier. I know I don't have frizzy hair at all, but for me it just feels like frizzier and like, I don't know how to explain it, but it feels dry and like not silky and smooth like my hair generally is, which kind of makes sense because I guess if you do want it to be thicker, each shaft has to be rougher. So, you know, it doesn't really say, <laughs> like if you pick this outcome, like thicker hair, then at the same time you have to chuck away this one, which is silky smooth hair like you know it's kind of what's the word I guess compensates like to make your hair thicker you have to compensate by making it rougher which makes sense but you know you don't want that so I guess I don't know I'm kind of learning from this that you just appreciate your own hair for what it is because everyone has pros and cons to their hair so like you know someone might hate their thicker curly hair but then they love the fact that they can do really hot messy buns with it um and like their hair stays up when they do it in a bun. I don't know what I'm trying to say, but basically I'm just going to keep giving it a crack for a little bit longer before I call it quits. I will say I do think I have a bit of an underlying scent to my hair now since using it. You look so... you look dull, darling. It has been one month since I started using Function of Beauty, so time for my final roast. I mean, final thoughts, sorry. <laughs> Um, so, where to begin? Okay, overall, I'm, I don't rate Function of Beauty. Let's start with the price. So, it was about $100 Australian, so, no, that is ridiculous. I've never spent money on hair care before, so going from 0 to 100 real quick, literally, literally, sorry, um, you'd think that the outcome would be a bit more pleasing, but yeah, so for the price, um, yeah, not very impressed with that. Obviously, like, it's going to be different for everyone. Maybe someone will have amazing benefits and it might be worth the price for them. But for me, no, it was not worth the price. The smell. So, no, it wasn't. I don't know. Like, I sometimes feel like I can smell an underlying scent of rose. But no, nah, no, nah, I'm just... I think that's just in my head. So the smell wasn't that impressed with. Also, when I smelt it from the box, I wasn't like, oh my gosh, like I am with my like Peter Alexander candles. I was just like, what? So yeah, wasn't extremely impressed with the scent. Maybe the other scents are more impressive, but the rose scent, 
didn't do it for me. I got out my little brochure thing that came with my, you know, function of Emmy. Profile, straight, fine, dry. <laughs> um, goals. So my goals were nourish roots, shine, soothe scalp, strengthen and volumize. Um, okay, so nourish roots. I don't know. Shine, no. So shine, my hair was pretty shiny before and I just feel like it's gotten really dull and like dank. <laughs> So yeah, um, soothe scalp, absolutely not. My scalp has been not soothed, it has been angry, let's just say. I would sometimes get a little bit of dandruff every now and then, and that was like my main problem before I started this, and this kind of um, enhanced my dandruff. <sighs> yeah, it was like someone used a cheese grater on my scalp sometimes. Um, yeah, so it did not soothe my scalp. Um, strengthen, possibly. Yeah, that is possible. I don't really know. It's hard to tell that your hair's stronger. I generally have pretty weak hair. Like, this also kind of plays into the fact that, like, I don't get a menstrual cycle. So my body does break down more easily. Um, I am working on that. But I will say, like, when I was losing weight, it was also shedding hair like crazy. And that's improved a lot since I'm, like, I'm, since I'm a healthier weight. So, yeah, strengthening your hair is something that comes from within. So, like, fueling your body and eating enough protein and healthy fats um, and enough food as well, obviously. But it also is how you treat your hair. So, like, I don't really do much to, like, like damage it in terms of, like, straightening it and, treat and using treatments. But, you, I, I mean, yeah, it's not weaker or anything, so... I'm just going to say neutral for the strengthen hair goal. And the last goal is volumize, which it, like, ticks. So, so the biggest thing I've, oh, I really did smell a little bit of rose. The best thing that I've gotten out of using Function of Beauty is that my hair is thicker. Like, 100%, I can feel that it's thicker. If I hold my ponytail before, it was like this. Now it's like, yeah, like I have a solid grip on that. So, yeah, it definitely did volumize my hair. But at the cost of making it rougher and more dry, I feel like it was at that cost. So... So it was meant to moisturize and energize my scalp to relieve discomfort and reduce buildup. It literally did the polar opposite of that. Shine, enhance your hair's natural shine, opposite of that. Strengthen, possibly. Nourish roots, I guess, possibly. And volumize, definitely. Yeah, overall, I got thicker hair, I think. Like, there's only so much you can do to change your natural hair. But at the cost of making it really dry and dull. I don't know. Well, I don't really know how I finally rate this now because if I think about it, I did want it to be thicker. I'm not blown away by the results. Like I am impressed. I would be, I probably would be blown away by the increase in thickness if it didn't get dull and it didn't like make my dandruff flare. Actually, you know what? I'm completely roasting it right now and it really isn't, yeah, it is bad, but it's not, oh, okay. Yeah. It was okay, but was it worth the hype? No, I don't reckon. So, will I keep using it? I mean, I don't have any other shampoo and conditioner, so I'll probably just finish the stuff I have in the shower. But I wouldn't get it again. So, yeah. So, personally, my custom shampoo and conditioner was not the best for my hair. There were some pros and some cons. You may have a completely different one. I've heard some people have had amazing results from them. I wasn't one of them. So Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel. That really means a lot. And I hope to see you in the next video. <laughs> but the biggest thing I've experienced... <laughs> biggest thing I've experienced. The biggest change... The be... <sighs> benefit? The pro. The best thing that I've gotten out of using Function of Beauty...